he won 12 Grammy Awards, before he dazzled billions of fans around the world with his amazing talent as a performer, before he impacted on millions of lives with his ongoing humanitarian efforts, before all of that, he was one other thing. He was my brother. Hi. <laughs> I'm Janet Jackson, and I'm pleased to be here tonight to honor the man I love and admire as an artist and a person, my brother, Michael Jackson. Now, I'm very happy to present the Grammy Legend Award for 1993 to my big brother, Michael Jackson. Congratulations, Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, but I, I just wanted to say one thing, and seriously. I, I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you, and how much you've inspired me, and how proud I am to be your sister, and how much I love you. I do. <laughs> Thank you. In the past month, I've gone from where is he to here he is again. <laughs> but I must confess it feels good to be thought of as a person, not as a personality. Because, <laughs> I don't read all the things written about me. I wasn't aware that the world thought I was so weird and bizarre. But when you grow up as I did in front of 100 million people, since the age of five, you're automatically different. The last few weeks, I have been cleansing myself, and it's been a rebirth for myself. It's like a cleansing spirit. I love you, too. <laughs> my, my childhood was completely taken away from me. There was no Christmas. There was no birthdays. It was not a normal childhood, no normal pleasures of childhood. Those were exchanged for hard work, struggle, and pain, and eventual material and professional success. But as an awful price, I cannot recreate that part of my life, nor would I change any part of my life. However, today, when I create my music, I feel like an instrument of nature. I wonder what delight nature must feel when we open our hearts and express our God-given talents. The sound of approval rose across the universe, and the whole world abounds in magic. Wonder fills our hearts for what we have glimpsed for an instant, the playfulness of life. And that's why I love children and learn so much from being around them. I realize that many of our world's problems today, from the inner city crime to large-scale wars and terrorism and our overcrowded prisons, are a result of the fact that children have had their childhood stolen from them. The magic, the wonder, the mystery, and the innocence of a child's heart are the seeds of creativity that will heal the world. I really believe that. What we, what we, <laughs> I love you too. What, what, we need to learn, what we need to learn from children isn't childish. Being with them connects us to the deeper wisdom of life, which is ever-present and only asked to be lived. They know the way to solutions that lie waiting to be recognized within our own hearts. Today I would like to thank all the children of the world, including, 
including the sick and deprived, I am so sensitive to your pain. I also, I also want to thank all those who have helped me to channel my talent here on earth. From the beginning, my parents, all my brothers and sisters, especially Janet. <laughs> I am so proud of her, it's, it's incredible. I mean, I remember when we were little, I used to ask her to be Ginger Rogers while I was Fred Astaire. <laughs> <laughs> the Motown family, my teacher, Barry Gordy, Diana Ross, I love you. Suzanne DePaz, the wonderful, great Quincy Jones, Teddy Riley, my new godson, Michael Gibb, my new Sony family, Ico Morita, Mickey Schuhoff, Tommy Mottola, Dave Glue, Polly Anthony, thanks for making one of my most creative efforts. The album Danger is such an in incredible success. I love you all so much. Sandy Gallen, Jim Mori, all the fantastic fans around the world. I love you very much. <laughs>